you guys doing? Thank you for clicking on this video, okay? So I just want to clear the energy really quick. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to look at your energy and a person that you're dealing with, okay? Or a person on your mind, the next person that you're going to be dealing with in love. We'll get in more information as it comes out. Wow. Beautiful things are happening here. You know, when I did the bell, I saw like God handing you something glowing, like glowing light. And for some of you, this is a baby. Some of you like thought that you were not able to have a child and um, you're coming to find out that that's not the case. Um, it doesn't have to be that though. Um, it could just be you healing your own inner child. Okay, your current energy, their current energy, how do you see this person, how do they see you, and actions that are likely. Okay, we have the three of wands here. You know, this is giving me energy of confidence. Yeah, you have the fool. Uh, the confidence to put yourself back out there again. Some of you could have been waiting on a particular situation. Yeah. You could have been waiting on a particular person. You didn't know which way it was going to go. And it's like where you left out in the cold by this person. And then going back and forth over it in your mind and trying to see, could this be a victory? Could this not be a, a victory with this particular person? Maybe you were waiting for some sort of a sign or something here. Um, there is a way that you're going to be putting yourself back out there. You could be a little bit apprehensive, but I feel like overall you're going to be confident. You're going to go forth and you're going to do it. It's like, you know, there's an element of the unknown, you know, because with these ships here, the ships come in and this person is supposed to like go get on the ship or get something from the ship. They're like waiting for the ships, right? And now the ships are going back out and it's like, okay, you, you're supposed to go get on the ship, you know, and it's like the unknown and you just wait a little longer. Some of you may hear something, you may get some news that's not exactly from this person, a particular person that you're waiting on, but you may get other news or it's just like you have this energy that you feel like people are talking about you and a lot of people have something to say about what it is that you're doing. Maybe some people thought that you had a perfect situation, but they didn't really know everything that was going on. And you did something that other people, you know, didn't want you to do. And now everybody's like has opinions on, oh, look, I guess they made a mistake. And I don't really think that you did. We're gonna see here. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords, you have the King of Pentacles, and you have the Ace of Cups here. So there, there's something here about an Earth sign. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. You could be very disappointed in this Earth sign, the way they're treating you. But it doesn't have to be an Earth sign. You could be an Earth sign. Um, it could just be um, somebody very stuck in their ways. These are the ways that things have always been done. And people expected you to just deal with it. That's life. You have to deal with it. But I feel like you're like, no, I believe that love, there's more. It's like you believe that there's more out there for you. And other people, there's people around you that don't want you to have more. Don't want you to believe in yourself that you can have more. And you like took a step out here. Um, like put yourself out in a way and you're receiving this love and other people are angry because they don't want you to be receiving this love because of this risk, because they're not willing to take these kinds of risks. They're not willing to take a look, an honest look at themselves and heal and grow. So a lot of these people are saying things, you know, that you have done in, their, in your past or like really looking at it and judging it and all of this. And maybe you did do things in your past that, you know, weren't the best things to do um so what <laughs> you know it's like it's it's not really about that it's kind of about what are you doing right now 
What are you going to do about it right now? And I feel like you have ma- implemented changes. You have made changes and you're moving forward, uh, trying to better yourself, better your life and have a beautiful love. And those people, they're not making changes to better themselves, to better anything. It's like holding on to this negativity and continuing to make these negative choices. And it's like, well, you used to do it, so you can't really judge it. And it's like, but I'm not doing that anymore. And who said I'm judging you? I'm just going out. It's like you're just going out after your own joy. And people are judging you for living this joy and for wanting this unconditional love, this pure love. Wow. Yeah. And that's the thing is you're attracting that. You're attracting a person who wants that. You have the star here and you have the ten of pentacles. Yeah, you have the eight of swords. So yeah. I mean, there's a person here that is healing from uh, being in, stuck in a prison here. Um, this could be a person who got divorced or something and everybody wants to kind of ridicule them on how they're moving on after some kind of a tragedy. Like they're not supposed to move on. Like they're not still alive. <laughs> it's like, oh, this tragedy should have broken you for a long time. You're supposed to be broken for a long time now because this happened. And it's kind of like, no, you know, your life is your gift to live and, you know, you can heal. There is no time amount of time that you have to be broken from something. I feel like this energy of a person is healing and other people are judging this person for healing so quickly. Um, it just like doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh, th there's something here about you're attracting a person that wants stability. This is a person that knows themselves really well and yeah, there may be times where they get tripped up and they get in their head and they're, they're doing some overthinking and they have some fears, but they will heal from it and then they will build stability and they will act towards stability, towards loyalty, towards building a solid foundation, towards, you know, this having this beautiful life here and supporting this kind of a healthy relationship, healthy foundation of a home. And this is like very quick progression, you know, here, you know, very quick. So this could be a person that they get over things quickly. You may be worried that a particular person is in a circumstance and is in a situation, but it's like showing me that this person you know, is over it. And a lot of times we could still be trapped in a situation where, you know, it's been dead, done and over with for a long time now, but there are other reasons why we have to stay in a particular situation. And I'm not making excuses for someone, but you know, sometimes there is just like a lot of things happen at the same time. So you just, you're done with something for a long time, but it's not officially over. So it feels like once something is officially over, this person moves on very quickly and you're not in their relationship, you know, so or other people that are judging this. Okay. How do you see this person? You have the queen of wands, you have the six of pentacles and you have the seven of cups. So you could be, you see this person as very confident, but you see this person that has a lot of options. They have a lot of decisions to make and they have a lot going on as far as do they have a responsibility still? What is their responsibility still? Are they still taking care of other situations? Are they still with the six of pentacles here? Are they still responsible to take care of other things like you it's it's not necessarily with these two cards it's like you don't know what is tied up and and done with and what is still being dealt with like what stage are we at this really reminds me of somebody that's like going through a divorce let's say it doesn't have to be this it could be like a business that that you know or somebody that's moving they started a new career or you know, they could have somebody that is a dependent on them, that they're they're handling their um, medical thing. It could be something like that. And this person is breaking free from these kind of responsibilities um, because they're, they're no longer this person's responsibilities for whatever reason. It could be a lot of different things, right? 
And this person is very confident. This person knows what it is that they want. This person is a bold person. You see this person is someone that's very resilient, very much so like you see how quickly this person can heal and how this person can take on a lot and still be doing just fine. That's how you see this person. But there is a mystery with this person. You don't really know what they're thinking, what are their plans going forward. You don't really know uh, what else do they need to give to. Are they not in a solid place after going through something like this? Or maybe they are. You know, there are some questions here that you have, and I feel like we're going to see more about this. Overall, there is an attraction. Overall, there is an attraction. You like this person's confidence. You like their resilience. There is a spark between the two of you. Uh, but you're very aware of the fact that, you know, we're, we're not sure yet. So okay. seven of swords, a judgment and the death card. Yeah, this person is unsure. They see you as somebody that they could move on with. But is this person afraid that you don't trust them? Is this person afraid that you're still with this earth sign here? This person, you're still allowing yourself to be manipulated by this earth sign? Or are you, you know, ha have you had a person that has, you know, lied to you, stolen from you, cheated on you in the past? Are you still going to bring that into this situation, right? Have you healed from that circumstance, from that situation? This person could be afraid that you think that of them, that this person is moving on so quickly so there is something not to be trusted about it because you're going right from the death, right to the judgment. And that's the thing with this person. They're healing really quick. So this could be somebody who, you know, people will say, oh, someone passed away that they were with and then they're... A certain amount of time and they're, they're met somebody and, and everybody's like, oh, they never really cared about that other person because they moved on so quickly. And I'm not here to judge those kinds of situations in either way. You don't really know. You know what I mean? That person really knows. They know what's right for them. And within you, you know what's right for you. And you, when you meet a person, you can have these feelings. And yeah, your mind can get in there and you can worry because you want to protect your heart, right? So it could be something like that or it could be a divorce situation. It's like, oh, is this person really ready, you know, to move on, to move forward? They had a major life event happen or something here. So this could be a little bit of worrying about, OK, you know, is this a healthy situation? This person could be wondering that about you. You could be wondering that about this person back and forth here. There, there's a little bit on both sides of wondering. That's the thing. Is can this situation be trusted? This person may feel like you see them as somebody that cannot be trusted or they could be worried that they're going to open their heart up to somebody who's going to hurt them again, just like the last person did. But regardless, this person sees you as someone also very resilient to overcome anything. And this person could know about a situation that happened to you where you were very badly betrayed and you moved on from a situation. There could be people that are misconstruing a situation where someone is being very manipulative here. And this is, you know, you're feeling this um, betrayal by a particular person, but this person could have ran around and told everyone else that you were the one betraying. So there could be a little bit of this whole gossip circle thing going on, or it's like getting this energy of like other people intervening where it's none of their business, right? So let's see. Okay. You know, you have the five of swords here. So th there is a, an energy of you saying, you know, I want change and I'm going to make this change happen. The five of swords is a victory, but it's at a cost. You know, it's definitely a difficult battle. But you're willing to say enough is enough and move forward. This is the energy of somebody who's not going to continue to stay in a situation and wait. Because this was the energy of holding out for something where you've been abandoned. And this is person is saying, um, you know, 
this is not changing. You know, I see my part. I see what I did and I see what this person did and they're not changing, but I'm changing. I'm not going to stay here anymore. I'm not doing this anymore here. So the universe is blessing you with the six of cups, with the three of pentacles, with somebody who you can actually build with, with someone that is accountable for their own actions. I feel like there is a person here that is not accountable for their own actions and they blamed you for their actions like they went around and told everybody that you did things that they actually did to you it's like very around the circle here so i feel like the universe is going to set you up with people that you can trust that are accountable and this is just a matter of you making this familiar you know because it feels like in the beginning you could feel like i don't know if I should trust this and that's something that the brain does is because we're familiar with a certain type of behavior a certain kind of people um and so when you have someone being nice to you when you have someone approaching you with this healthy stable offer you know this can be like you know I don't know I don't trust this or something that you don't trust about it because it's unfamiliar so this makes you feel unsettled and so then you don't want to you know trust it right uh so i feel like this the universe is going to help you it's going to bring you some sort of help and this help can come in from a person um that is going to kind of give you some kind of good advice or some kind of confidence to keep giving this situation a try and see that you actually can build something um we'll see more about this okay yeah you have the Queen of Cups, you have the Page of Wands, and you have the the Knight of Pentacles. So this is the person that, yeah, they're, they're very emotional about this. They have a lot of feelings about this. They have a lot of feelings from their past, but ultimately they want this. And they're going to be willing to be bold enough to put themselves out there and to come to this offer with you that's knight of pentacles energy you know they want to build something solid and that's what i like about this is you have these pentacle cards here that are very good cards in love you know this is somebody that wants to invest here and and this is something that is building into something and this is you know the best card in the deck right the ten of pentacles is what we're all searching for so I feel like this person, it can be very slow starting, very slow to put themselves out there, um, but they have a lot of compassion and they're willing to have compassion for you and they're willing to listen to what it is that you have to say. It could be another person. It's like this energy of there were people meddling, getting in the way, breaking you guys apart, but now there's people coming to helping you to come together. And I feel like this is what each of you are doing this journey on your own. And so this is why you're attracting these kinds of people. And you change, so the kinds of people that you're attracting are changing. So before you were attracting people that were, uh, you know, talking to you about these fears, about these doubts, and this was causing this to be like a false start and a lot having a lot of questions here. And I'm, I'm not too sure about this kind of an energy. And the two of you pulled back and you worked on yourselves. And now there is this energy of people that are, you know, saying, yeah, this past situation was difficult here for you but you can get through this okay not everybody is that way and now it's like people are kind of guiding you back towards each other here so this person feels like coming forward but this is a little bit like you know because the knight of pentacles they have everything that they need he has this pentacle here. He has this field ready to, you know, be uh, planted. And his the horse has stopped, you know. So this is like, okay, it's time to get going, right? And here is the thing. It's like you're waiting. You're waiting for this person to come to have a new beginning here. But I feel like this person didn't know if you were waiting on a past person. And that's the thing is you cleared something completely out. And the person that wasn't moving, they were moving because of fear, because of fear of past betrayal, because of fear, 
that this would turn into betrayal somehow. So this is like giving, they were giving you kind of mixed signals here, but I feel like that's going to come to an end. That this person has made their mind up. They're clear about their emotions. They're clear about wanting this new beginning and having the boldness to go for it. But it's just going to happen, I think, a little bit slower than maybe what you would like. But I don't think it's going to be so slow that you're thinking it's not coming in, okay? So this has a lot of potential. And this is definitely like two people that were very much so hurt and they fell blindsided because they loved blindly. And so they felt very blindsided by nothing forming a great structure here. And so now making sure that you don't want to do that again, but you don't want to overcorrect here. So it's a little bit of, you know, slowness. It's like they have this nerve when they're, you know, but then when they're uh, with you, it's like a little bit more nervous okay so yeah let's see you have the elephant spirit learn from the past yeah and some of you could be learning from the past and you could be learning that, you know, there are past situations, you know, where maybe something started really great right in the beginning, you know, and this person saw you and they came towards you and look at this beautiful thing that happened, but it all came crashing down because maybe you're used to situations that start in a particular way. And this, there's something about this way that it starts differently, but you're going to see that it is actually healthy, you know, um, and it's actually building something really healthy, which is what you want. So this is about understanding that, you know, you don't want the kind of situations that you have had before so that it's going to take a little bit of boldness on both of your parts, on both sides. So this is like paying attention to what you did before and how that worked out and how you want to change. It's like you want to be open to someone approaching you, right? But you don't want to kind of force things to go forward, right? So quickly. So there is like an energy here. That's what I'm kind of getting from um, this elephant spirit. The elephant, you know, is very, very wise and, and like they are in family units. So you could really pay attention to like people in your family and how their relationships have gone. And maybe if you see some similarities that you unknowingly picked up, you know, through your childhood and stuff. And it's like, OK, well, maybe I don't want to continue that. Cause that's not beneficial for me, you know, cause that's the thing is the elephants don't keep traveling to a place where the river is dried up. You know, they, they continue along the same path as their ancestors, but the ones that take them to, to water, <laughs> the ones that take them to, you know, that are beneficial. They're not going to continue on with something that's no longer beneficial. So maybe some adjustments need to be made. I watched something where the elephants are trying to walk across. There's like a main road in Africa that they built. And this is along the ancient way that the elephants would walk. And so this is a problem because it's like an expressway, like eight lanes, you know, one going one way, one go the other way. So for them to cross here, it's like never stopping. <laughs> it's very dangerous. So they need to make some changes. They need to implement some changes. That's not going to work. So, yeah, okay, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much. I hope that it helps. If it did and you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome.